all your ultimate team coin needs, check out utcoinsforyou.com. There will be a link in the description. And if you use the code CHEZ, you can get yourself a 5% discount. Hey guys, how's it going? Tez back again with another episode of the Chelsea Career Mode here on Xbox One. It's episode number 49 and we're coming into this one on the back of a very, very intense episode yesterday. It was of course the extra bonus episode for the Wednesday. I'm recording this before it's actually gone up. So I do hope that went down well. If uh, I'm judging, I'm going to judge by the reaction in the comments to that video as to whether to make uh, you know this series five times a week every single weekday so uh, hopefully that went down well but uh, we're coming into this one on the back of a defeat against Arsenal and a draw away in Paris in the first leg of this quarter final in the Champions League so we've got an away goal and definitely something to build on but PSG in that first league were very very stiff opposition and I definitely wasn't going to underestimate them coming into this tie because if they score one they definitely threaten to score two and, um, you know, I already know what sort of threats they pose. We were fortunate to come away with the draw from Paris, in all honesty. Edinson Cavani missed a couple of absolutely glorious opportunities. But Eden Hazard sets himself up beautifully there before Andre Scherler just gets in the way of the effort. Fantastic feat from Eden to skip inside the box away from a couple of opposition players. And unfortunately, he isn't quite able to, uh, to find the back of the net. But we hit the post there. That's the first time we've hit the woodwork so far in this game. Believe me, I'll probably title this something mental as well because this is the craziest game of uh, FIFA 14 I've actually ever played. It was so intense. We hit the bar there with a header from the corner. That's the second time now we've hit the woodwork. That's Lars Bender with the header. And uh, just the second time in the first half that we come very, very close to taking the lead. Now, I felt confident going into this one that I was going to be able to get a result. But at the same time... I was still apprehensive about conceding uh, a goal, an away goal, on the, the other end of things. And unfortunately, we did just that just before half-time. Lucas dancing his way inside the box after the ball wasn't quite cleared properly. And then uh, I slid in with David Luiz, got nowhere near the ball. Uh, I think it was just a panic challenge more than anything else. So we went in at half-time, 1-0 down. And as you could see from the aggregate score at the bottom of that graphic, that currently leaves us out of the competition. That puts... PSG 2-1 in front, heading towards the uh, the rest of the tournament. Decent shot there from Scherler first time from the uh, from the cross, but unfortunately the uh, the the save from Sirigu pushed it out towards Luis Muriel, but he wasn't quite able to get on the end of it, and we stay 1-0 down. But we were applying pressure in the early stages of the uh, of the second half, as you can see here. Lars Bender cuts inside, great first shot off the inside of the post. Scherler slides in, it hits the post again on the other side, and they scramble it clear somehow. I do not know how we weren't able to score there and get ourselves back in the game. But we're getting a corner just 10 minutes after that. We hit the bar again. We cannot get past Salvatore Sirigu in that PSG goal, and it looks like we're heading out of the competition as we head into the last few moments but Scherler turns inside here gets away from the defender another shot well blocked with the last ditch effort from the PSG defence Scherler's going to whip the corner in David Luiz is going to go up we score at last the ball flies into the back of the net we're back on level terms and we're trying desperately to continue that wave of pressure and build again on top of that to get ourselves a goal to go in front in the tie overall of course as things stand now we will go through to extra time with uh, two one all draws in each tie and away goal each, we're literally head to head and deadlocked at 2 2 in the tie overall. But they're going to come back straight back at me just after that, try and get themselves a second away goal, which would have absolutely killed me off. Because if they get a second away goal, I'm going to need two more goals. And brrr, my heart was in my mouth when that challenge went in and uh, Blaise Matuidi went down. I honestly absolutely panicked. But we rode the luck that we hadn't had earlier on in the game and were able to come out with a 1-1 draw. As you can see, we were so far on top, so dominant in this game. How it was only 1-1, I don't know. But we're going to push into extra time. And unfortunately, there was only one effort in extra time from the entirety of the extra half an hour. The ball was whipped in here from Danilo. Luis Muriel flicks it on, but unfortunately, Salvatore Sirigu's positioning is absolutely spot on. And he's able to get full behind it. As you can see, just the one shot, 12... 12 and 7 rather than 11 and 6. But neither side have really too many, you know, out and out fantastic penalty takers. So uh, it's really going to be tense going into this penalty shootout, or so I thought. But, uh, you know, you can see how fast the. Uh the little emblem or the little bar was moving in the bottom right when it comes to taking the penalties. Eden Hazard puts his one away in spectacular fashion and then Cavani is going to step up to take his and he's going to miss it in spectacular fashion. Hits the bottom of the post on the right hand side. There is no better way to start off a penalty shootout than, uh, than take a 1-0 lead. But again I missed the green with Luis Muriel but fortunately he hits it right into that top right hand corner. We go 2-0 up with 
Lucas stepping up to take their second. Of course, he scored for them, but this time plays it straight down the middle. I was late diving with Czech. Unfortunately, his legs were still there long enough to uh, to get in the way of the shot. And again, I missed the green. And David Luiz steps up, goes down the middle, fortunately smashes it into the roof of the net. And uh, oh, really not for getting very good at these uh, these penalties. But he's an ex-Chelsea player, Alex, to step, for the, step up for their third. He hits the bar, it bounces on the line and comes out. PSG miss every single one of their penalties and we progress through to the Champions League semi-finals on penalties. Mental, absolutely mental game. How we didn't win it outright in 90 minutes, I don't know, but I think we fully deserve to go through. As you can see, Juve are through against Man City, 3-1. Borussia Dortmund are through against Barcelona and Bayern Munich are through against Tottenham. So who are we going to come up against in the next round? We will have to wait and see. But we're back to Premier League action now and we really need to step things up. After losing to Arsenal in the last game of the previous episode that we covered, we lost 3-1. They're now only one point behind us in the Premier League as you'll be able to see from the graphic that's going to pop up on your screen in any moment. As you can see, there it comes. One point behind us. 29 games played, 8 games left. It's just one point in it. It's so, so close. And their goal difference is superior to ours. Nine goals superior, in fact. So uh, we definitely need to get a result here if we possibly can. And buy a few goals if we possibly can as well. Now, if you remember the earlier game against Watford, when we went away to Vicarage Road, they gave us one hell of a game, actually, and were very, very t stiff opposition. And I was having to play a, a little bit of a rotation side in this one. And Leroy Fair has a glorious opportunity to put us 1-0 up there. For some reason, hooks his shot back into the goalkeeper rather than placing it in between post and goalkeeper and into the back of the net so we stay at nil nil just before half time and they're actually going to come so close to getting the lead there as the ball gets drilled across their uh, their striker is so very very nearly able to get on the end of it and they're on their attack again towards the end of the first half a nice free kick down the right hand side floated in initial chance is cleared well enough but then Troy Dean is going to wriggle his way into the box draws a great save out of the goalkeeper Tibor Courtois like I say we're playing a little bit of a rotation side because it wasn't too long after the, uh, the second leg of the Champions League tie that we had to play this game and uh, a lot of my first teamers were still uh, still very very tired from that early game but Troy Dean is going to be involved again another fantastic turn and shot and again Tibor Courtois is on hand to make a great save to keep us in it so we made some changes into the second half again Oscar's stamina letting me down he's very very tired as it gets past the hour mark so I brought on Kevin De Bruyne to try and freshen things up going forward try and get us the goal that we needed to get us three points from this game but Watford definitely weren't keen on letting me have those three points as you can see we're into the 75th minute now Lloyd Doyle whips in a free kick it goes up easy header and a decent save from uh, from Courtois again. Uh, fortunately, we're, we're able to keep them out, but they're on the attack again. It's all Watford in this second half. They're playing down the ball, playing the ball down the left hand side. Forestieri is going to drill the ball across, finds Patoccio, and uh, he puts the ball into the back of the net. It's a fantastic finish to get it across the goalkeeper into the bottom corner. And Watford take a shock lead five minutes before the end of the game. With the ball in, looking for Lord Remy from the corner. The goalkeeper makes a great save, tracking back to tip the ball back over the top and out for another corner. But we're going to whip it in again. This time it's going to be Kevin De Bruyne to make the delivery. Up it goes. Up goes John Terry, trying to find Remy at the back post. And the goalkeeper makes a great save again. We cannot get the ball into the back of the net. And Asamo is going to have a follow-up effort, but it's tame. Straight at the goalkeeper, straight down the middle, down his throat. And he's able to comfortably gobble it up. And the chance goes astray. But we're going to get one final chance before the game was out. Down the right-hand side goes Thomas Callas. He sees the run of Light Remy. It looks like it's too much for him. He's racing onto the end of it. Shows the defender out the way and finds the bottom corner. Loic Remy, I love you. We needed that goal more so than anything else. That was just so crucial. I went mental. Sat here on my bed when I was recording that. To show the strength to shove off the defender and then find the finish as well in the same motion. Absolutely glorious. But we're still not done. Into the 95th minute, Watford are on the attack again. It's straight from kickoff. They're going to hit the bar. They come so close to getting all three points yet again after us pegging the bat right at the death. Fortunately, we're able to hook it clear. And my God, are we just so lucky to get that point. That could have really been a shock result after they went 1-0 up late on able to get a goal back and then brrr, so so close to going 2-1 down right at the death but we take a point from that one and we really if ever we needed three points in a Premier League game it was this one against Leicester City away from home now uh, there wasn't a full strong first team in this one again Oscar's involved Lucas Piazza is involved down the wing down the left hand side so uh, it's still some rotation players in there Fernando Torres is starting up top as well rather than Luis Muriel but as you can see we've dropped behind Arsenal they won their game at the weekend we drew ours 
and uh, they've got one, uh, one point ahead of us so we really do need to keep up the pressure now at the top with Arsenal so if we could get a result here it'd be absolutely fantastic Torres so very nearly gets us off to a perfect start wonderful effort from him bringing it down perfectly from uh, from the chest and volleys it just right of the far post Luke Moore picks up a, a booking here for a really nasty challenge on Fernando Torres easily could have seen red for this probably only didn't because of the fact that it was in the fifth minute but so you can probably tell what's going to happen a little bit later on considering I've shown a booking in the footage here but Lucas Piazzon gets the first ever blocked it's well won in the air by, uh, by Lars Bender he brings it down perfectly takes that extra little touch to get it away from the defender once he's tested it down to open the chance up finds the back of the net and in the opening 10 minutes Lucas Piazzon gives us a 1-0 lead that I so craved that really kind of settled my nerves heading into the rest of the tie and uh, Torres is going to come close here to getting another one but actually that deflected off Lars Bender's backside and went over the bar was destined for the top corner and if we could get a, uh, a victory and also a victory by quite a few goals then uh, that is definitely what I want to get from this one because not only are we now a point behind but like I said earlier on our goal difference is inferior and quite substantially so to Arsenal's so if we want to still challenge for that Premier League title we're going to need to pick up wins and goals in the process and uh, Torres comes very close to getting us a 2-0 lead there. And then again on the follow-up, Lars Bender can't quite get on the end of it. I think it was Kevin Bruyne, De Bruyne actually. But uh, the goalkeeper palms it onto the post. So unlucky not to take a 2-0 lead. And uh, Oscar's going to get played through here. It's a lovely chance. All he's got to do is put it past the goalkeeper. And he fires it straight at Kasper Michael. And then the defender is going to hook it clear. And uh, again, I was kind of putting the pressure on, but not really necessarily having the clear-cut opportunities. But you can see the... Fernando Torres is getting pulled back there that really is a clear cut opportunity and he missed it he used the outside of his foot and smashed it off the bar rather than putting it into the back of the net you can see we're about 5-10 minutes after that chance now the ball hasn't yet gone out of play Leo Fur breaks through it's another clear cut opportunity I had the option to square it if I felt sweaty I didn't I took the shot on and again Casper Smichel makes a crucial crucial save Unfortunately, there just isn't enough accuracy in it. But, like I say, the ball had gone out of play. And this really threw me. Because, ordinarily, the, uh, the the referee will pull the play back and send a player off automatically when uh, when there is a challenge. But you'll see from the replay, it's actually that Torres effort from quite a few minutes ago. Luke Moore was pulling at his shirt. You saw the advantage, uh, the advantage sign go up, I'm sure, before he struck the ball against the bar. Luke Moore actually got himself sent off for that. And uh, Le Leicester didn't really threaten me after that, but unfortunately I won wasn't quite able to uh, to threaten them either. But we do come away with three points. If we can't score a lot of goals, at least getting a win is the most important thing. So we still only sit a point behind Arsenal as we head into the final seven games of the season. There's only a handful of uh, episodes left in uh, this particular second season, and there is still all to play for. We're into the semi-finals of the Champions League, and we're coming close to that Premier League title so uh, do feel free to come back in the next episode if uh, you would like to see that subscribe if you haven't so that you don't miss it and uh, there will be a link in the description and an annotation on screen over that little subscribe button to do so if uh, you missed the previous episode yesterday if you were unfamiliar with the fact that we are actually had a career mode episode on the Wednesday then there is an annotation on screen over that little snippet of gameplay there to take you to it three absolutely huge games in that one and of course, if you did enjoy the video, then feel free to leave it a like as well. That would be absolutely superb. But that's going to bring today's action to a close. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will see you tomorrow.